because our Carolyn Clifford took some time today to speak with some of Don's closest friends and colleagues. And we have a part of her conversation with former Channel 7 anchor Robbie Timmons and her husband Jim Brandstatter, who is known as the former voice of the Detroit Lions. I'll ask you first, Robbie, because my memories of us with Don are at that last championship parade with the Red Wings, and we have a photo of that. So what are your memories of Don? I really enjoyed working with Don Shane, and, and I am like you. I loved doing the Red Wing uh, Stanley Cup parade with them broadcasting them. He was so knowledgeable about sports, but he also had such a great sense of humor, and he was just a joy to be around. I think for me as a sports guy, Carolyn, I, I love the fact that he got his hands dirty. He took Detroiters into the locker room with the Pistons when they won a championship, with the Red Wings when they won the Stanley Cup, with Michigan, with Michigan State. He was there bringing Detroit sports fans with him, and he managed to get, in my opinion, the true emotion of the players and relate that to the fan at home. Uh, he was special. That was his great talent. He was a wonderful anchor, but as a reporter and a guy in a locker room with champagne all over the place, <laughs> He kept his head and got the story. Yeah. Uh, he and I worked together, started at Channel 4, um, and kind of feel like I've lost a dear friend, but a guy that was a contemporary too. We've lost a great one in Don Shane. Yes, we have. We've lost a legend. Yeah. So thank you guys for, for Thanks, sharing because I know it's a tough day for so many. Thank yeah, you. Thanks, Carolyn. And Carolyn came in tonight, Dave Rexroth came in tonight, Davey Lou came in tonight. We couldn't fit everybody in, we got condensed because of the NHL. Rexroth said, you guys go, you were the sports guys, you go. Aww. The outpouring of support and love is there, and we've talked about legacy. When you meet your heroes and they disappoint you, that's one thing. When you meet your heroes and they exceed your expectations, that's another thing, and Don certainly did that for so many of us. All right, Brad, thank you for that tribute. And uh, once again, sorry for your loss, but we're going to continue to celebrate his yeah. life and yeah. listen to so many more of these stories. And we're going to be continuing to remember his legacy, Don Shane's legacy forever, but especially during this incredibly tough time. And for a closer look, we encourage you to head to WXYZ.com.